2025 Kia Carnival Hybrid, balancing comfort and efficiency for the modern family. Kia model attracts the youngest buyers. Pop quiz. Can you guess which Kia model appeals most to younger buyers, sells the fastest, and brings 65% new customers to the brand? If you're thinking it's the stylish and affordable Nero, or one of Kia's trendy electric models, think again. The answer is the Kia Carnival minivan. Despite being a minivan, its SUV-like appearance has struck a chord with buyers. Kia is leaning into this success by giving the 2025 Carnival an even more rugged look. With 61% of shoppers in this segment now considering hybrids, Kia hopes to capture their attention with a hybrid version featuring a beefed-up powertrain borrowed from the Kia Sorento Hybrid. Their goal? To lure buyers away from hybrid competitors like the Chrysler Pacifica and Toyota Sienna. The new Carnival Hybrid boasts best-in-class torque, but the question remains. Can the 1.6T engine handle the task of moving eight passengers in their gear? A hybrid like no other. The hybrid systems of the Kia Carnival, Chrysler Pacifica, and Toyota Sienna all feature two electric motors working with a combustion engine. But that's where the similarities end. In the 2025 Kia Carnival, one of the motors acts as a small alternator slash motor connected to the engine's accessory drive, while the second replaces the traditional torque converter in a six-speed automatic transmission. In contrast, both Chrysler and Toyota use more complex planetary gear systems to combine engine power with two larger motors. Chrysler's system is based on licensed Timken slash Ricardo patents, not Toyota's. Notably, only Chrysler's electric motors are powerful enough to drive it's been solely on electric power for up to 32 miles. Regen braking with paddle shifters. Unlike the hybrids from Chrysler and Toyota, the Kia Carnival features paddle shifters on the steering wheel that let drivers adjust the level of regenerative braking with three settings available, or none at all. While Chrysler and Toyota offer increased engine braking via a gear shift setting, Kia's system gives drivers more control. However, don't expect a true one-pedal driving experience like you might find in some electric vehicles. Even at the highest level of regenerative braking, there's often a delay before you feel the van start to slow down and the deceleration can feel uneven during downshifts. Electrics in action. Kia's engineers claim they found a clever way to use the main electric propulsion motor to enhance both comfort and handling, with features like e-ride, e-handling, and e-ha. The idea is that during events like going over a speed bump, a quick burst of regenerative braking can help lower the front of the vehicle, while a brief touch of acceleration can slightly raise it afterward. On the handling side, when a driver initiates a lane change, a brief moment of reg and braking can increase the grip by loading the front tires, while a touch of acceleration afterward helps stabilize the rear. These features can be disabled by switching off traction control to allow for comparison. In theory, these tweaks sound beneficial, but during our test drive, we found the impact on the van's dynamics almost imperceptible. How does the hybrid perform? In terms of performance, the hybrid feels a bit underpowered. This is a large vehicle, especially in the top-tier SX Prestige trim, where it weighs around 2.5 tons, even without passengers or cargo. The 74-horsepower electric motor struggles to fill the gap in torque while the small turbo engine spools up. It generates enough torque to spin an inside front tire during turns from a stop, but when driving straight, we experienced more of the weight-to-power ratio, 20.7 pounds per horsepower, than the segment-leading torque, 271 lbft, Kia boasts. With just two passengers, it accelerates adequately for everyday city driving, and we did manage to get fuel economy slightly above 30 miles per gallon in mixed conditions. However, we worry that if you fill all the seats and pack the van with luggage, it might feel overworked and fall short of its EPA estimates. For those planning to tow, we recommend avoiding the hybrid version, as its towing capacity is just 2,500 pounds, 1,000 pounds less than the V6 model. Enhanced Highway Drive Assist other tech transferring in from newer Kias like the EV6 include HDA, which now provides both effective lane centering and even lane change assist. Signal, keep your hands on the wheel, and it will execute the lane change. Though if it senses you steering at all, it cancels. Top models also get a big head-up display 
that helpfully indicates blind spot warnings as well as listing the next navigation prompt. One EV6 feature we're less thrilled about. The shared capacitive NAV slash climate control buttons that always seem to show the wrong mode, requiring you to find a switch to change them to the mode you're interested in. When, how much, and worth it? Deliveries of the new 2025 Kia Carnival minivan are happening now, with the Carnival LXS Hybrid starting at $41,895. That's a $2,000 premium versus the V6 LXS, and the base V6 LX is another $2,000 cheaper. Next up is the EX at $44,095, SX at $48,995, and our top-line Carnival SX Prestige test car starts at $53,995. Toyota Sienna pricing starts a little lower and tops out considerably higher. The Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid starts at $52,750, but its big PHEV battery qualifies it for a $7,500 rebate that brings its price down to a mighty attractive $45,250. We need more time and more models to say for sure, but this Kia Drive has us leaning toward either the Carnival V6 or a Sienna or Pacifica Hybrid. The 2025 Kia Carnival Hybrid is an exciting addition to the minivan segment, bringing a new level of fuel efficiency and hybrid technology to the lineup. However, when it comes to performance, the hybrid version of the Carnival shows mixed results. Under the hood, the Carnival Hybrid features a 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine paired with a 44 kilowatts electric motor, resulting in a combined system output of 227 horsepower and 271 lbft of torque. While these numbers suggest competitive power, the Carnival Hybrid's significant weight, especially in higher trims, makes the performance feel a bit underwhelming. In the top SX Prestige trim, the minivan weighs roughly 2.5 tons, and this weight hampers the hybrid's ability to deliver the segment-leading torque that Kia advertises. The 74-horsepower electric motor works hard to bridge the torque gap while the turbocharger spools up, but during city driving, the van feels more sluggish than powerful. At low speeds, it has enough torque to spin the front wheels during sharp turns, but acceleration in a straight line feels labored. When loaded with passengers or cargo, the vehicle's weight becomes even more noticeable, potentially limiting its responsiveness. In terms of fuel efficiency, the hybrid system shines with an estimated 30 plus MPG in mixed driving conditions, an impressive figure for a vehicle of this size. For typical day-to-day -day driving around town, the Carnival Hybrid performs well, offering smooth and adequate acceleration. However, the hybrid's power may feel stretched if you're filling the van to capacity or towing. The towing capacity is capped at 2,500 pounds, which is 1,000 pounds less than the non-hybrid V6 model. Overall, the 2025 Kia Carnival Hybrid offers solid fuel efficiency and a comfortable ride, but lacks the robust performance some might expect from its hybrid powertrain, especially under heavy loads. Thanks for watching us. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.